Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. It is that time of year where we say, hey, Kelly, what do you think about coming over and doing some crafts? And she says, email me next time, buddy. No, she's, uh, she's here. Kelly Witt, yeah. Fitchburg Public Library. First off, I want to say, anytime that you come over and you bring something that says washable brown, I'm in. Cool. <laughs> me too. How are you doing? Great. How are you? Uh, did, was the setup for uh, the segment okay? Well, yes. There was some truth behind that. Maybe not. Um, I feel like I never get a call. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's <laughs> enough to get chitter chatter. Uh, we're doing some crafting today. Uh, what do we got set up here? Stamps and corn. This is obviously corn. And some rope and some Q-tips and some fingers. Yeah, I don't know about this. You can do it. All right. You say so. Okay. So maybe you have some stamps at home. Maybe not. But if you do, you can do it at home. If not, come to the library and stamp with us. Isn't it always your saying that it's better to make a mess at somebody else's place than yeah, your own? Exactly. Make a mess somewhere else. Then you don't have to clean it up. I do. Uh-huh. Except <laughs> that one time when you left everything here. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's uh, let's do this. So uh, what are we going to do here to make our corn? Um, we're just going to stamp. And we're gonna. I'm going to use fingers. You also could use Q-tips if you're a child. Some kids don't like to make a mess. Um, you got to just really get your finger mushed in there. So are these supposed to be the kernels? Yeah. They're different colors. Do you want us to mix the colors? I don't care. I'm not mixing them. The kids mix them anyways. So I wonder my brown is red. <laughs> so uh, you always talk about the fine motor skills here uh, in uh, crafting. Uh, how does this one uh, shape up against the others? Well, they're for sure using fine motor skills here because they have to separate one finger from the other and use strength to dip it and dip it back on the paper. That's hard for a lot of kids. What do you do with uh, kids that run out of patience? And then these they're things? done. Then they're done. They can come back to it later. Crafting should be fun. It shouldn't be a chore. And we discourage parents from finishing their crafts for them because it really should be a craft for a child, not for a parent. Um, you know, parents there to give assistance, like to take a sticker back off, but not necessarily to tell them exactly where to put it. Mm -hmm. um, so, wow, my, my corn is looking too legit to quit. I'm speeding up the process. <clears throat> Here's my corn right here. Oh, yeah. This so, corn is, uh, this is ridiculous. Your corn is looking kind of... Uh, moldy. Well, you kind of took all the good colors. Now we're going to just very quickly make a second corn. Corn. Oops. Corn. Do you have to say corn when you're making the corn? Corn, corn, corn. So tell me about the uh, crafting uh, at the library. Uh, what do you guys do for uh, coming up with ideas and stuff? Or do we have like a ongoing... Uh, Tim decide type of moment, or how do you uh, how do you make this all work? No, we just work together as a team to figure out what we think the kids would like the best. Um, it's really a collaborative effort to figure out, you know, what's going on in the world and what's going on in Fitchburg, and and have that work together to be best fit on our schedule. Yeah, they always kind of time out really good. These guys seem so. to come up with some good uh, good stuff. Okay, so now once your once your corns are fabulously made, you tie them together. So they both have holes on the top. And you can tie a bow. You can teach your kid to tie a bow. Or you can just tie it for them. Do you have any uh, select age group on this? Well, the stamping part is definitely like one to three. 
but you can go all the way up to five and six. So you could hang it in the window. And there's your little corn. Excellent. How do I look? They look perfect in their own way. <laughs> You can't tell you've never done this before whatsoever. <laughs> uh, so easy enough for the kids to cut out and uh, as well, they could do the, oh, yes. some of the cutting on this they and should, then... They should do the cutting out if you can. And you could use uh, paint instead of this washable brown. Yes, washable brown you do not need to use. You can use paint. Well, Kelly, I appreciate the time as always. Uh, if people want to find out more about... Uh, the events coming up down in the youth uh, services area, how would you recommend they do that? They can go to our website. They can call. They can come on over to the children's department. There's lots of ways to find out about what's going on at the library. And I should point out, when you come in, uh, first come into the children's area off to the left, that's usually your area that you highlight your uh, your books for the season, right? Correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have seasonal books there, like Thanksgiving books right now. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, I appreciate the time as always, and uh, yeah, happy Thanksgiving to you and everybody over there, uh, and uh, yeah, check out our corn. Check That's out good. our corn. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> All right, we'll take a quick break. You are watching Talking Fitchburg.